Hello viewers, welcome to Home Cooking with me, Hema Subramanian. We're continuing our Diwali special with Mysore Pak. And in case you've missed our earlier episode, you can go check out its bread, dry jamun. Now let's take a look at the ingredients for Mysore Pak. One cup gram flour, basin, one cup sugar, ghee 150 ml. First, I'm going to roast the gram flour. Take a teaspoon of ghee. So you need to roast it for about four or five minutes. So roast the flour for about five to six minutes till the raw smell is gone. You can see the bright yellow has come down a little, and I'm getting a lovely nutty fragrance. Now I'm going to sift it to the sieve so that there are no lumps. You don't want any lumps in your gram flour. Transfer this, the gram flour, into the bowl. You can see after sifting, it's nice and fine. You don't have any lumps. This is how you would want the gram flour. So pour about 150 ml of ghee into the gram flour. Mix it. So you, the you will get a nice creamy consistency after you add the ghee. This is what you're looking for. Keep it aside. Now we're going to make the sugar syrup. Pour a little water into the pan. Take in one cup sugar. So you've got to make sure that it's completely dissolved. Make sure you keep it on a low flame while doing this. Quickly grease the plate or the dish with a little ghee. So make sure you grease it nicely. You don't want it to stick once you make the Mysore Pak. Make sure you have enough ghee at the bottom and the sides. So you can see the sugar is dissolved completely. I'm going to pour the gram flour batter and sugar syrup. Now all this has been done on low flame. Make sure you do that. You don't want to burn anything here. And gently mix it. You need to keep stirring it so that everything is mixed well. The sugar syrup and the gram flour and ghee batter is coming out beautifully. You see the color is also changed smells absolutely divine. So as you're stirring, you're going to gradually add more ghee to make it richer. You see, stir it in. Turn off the stove. This is the consistency that you're looking for. It's a nice dropping consistency. Quickly transfer it into the dish or the plate that you've greased. Would prefer to use a non-stick pan while making this uh, sweet Mysore Pak. Spread it out evenly and just let it set. Just pour a teaspoon or two of ghee on top. Well, it is a rich sweet, so once in a while, if you're making Diwali special, why not make it rich? Cut it when it comes to room temperature and remove it from the dish when it's completely cooled down. Surprise your family and friends with this delicious, rich Mysore Pak. Have a colourful, sweet and most important, safe Diwali. Do subscribe to our YouTube channel and also follow us on Facebook.